Travelers, you probably recognize me as the old man who warned you not to go looking around that old mine shaft. For many travelers have entered and none returned. But what you probably don't know about me is that for the past 18 or so years, I've been Ian Hecox's business manager. Oh, oh no. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ian was always my most consistent client. I knew no matter what the project was, if I sent him in there, he was gonna give 50% every time, which was also my commission rate. I still remember the day I discovered him. It was in a Chuck E. Cheese. I was warning children not to enter the ball pit after sundown when I saw him and I said, there's someone with the looks of a dead body on CSI Miami. <laughs> and the charisma of a dead body on CSI New Orleans. <laughs> and I thought, that's it. And sure, he was just a sad, pathetic loser, but I turned him into a sad, pathetic loser with a YouTube channel. <laughs> In fact, I'm responsible for most of Ian's greatest successes. For instance, one time, he found me in the bathroom with a celery stick up my ass, f***ing a pink sprinkled donut. And he said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm brainstorming. And that's Ow. how we came up with Foxman. <laughs> Thanks, man spider. <laughs> and when Ian and I were writing Smosh the movie, I said, Ian, let's put our heads together Let's burn the midnight oil and give it everything we got to make sure that this movie is very bad. <laughs> and when it came to hiring new cast members, I said, hey, what are those kids from the magic school bus up to? I bet they're unemployed and desperate for work. <laughs> and they were. And finally, my crowning achievement. <laughs> I'm the reason Anthony left Smosh. Oh. You see, he found me in the bathroom with a celery stick up my ass, f***ing <laughs> a pink sprinkled donut. And he said, what are you doing? And I said, you're fired. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. We've been through a lot, but I'm not done with him yet. No, I have one more job for Ian Hecox. You see, after this funeral, we're gonna take his body and dump it by a creek and change four young boys' lives forever. Stop it! <laughs> it will be your greatest work. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, whoa! Hey, I didn't know I was interviewing my exes. Crazy. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, wait, I haven't even seen the... Holy sh**, his bare ass oh, wow. is sticking out of the other side of the coffin. Wow, that's crazy. I'm over here now. Oh, sh**. Oh. All right. <laughs> Holy God. 